item one on acquisition and preservation, um, absolutely as stated before, I do believe we should bolster that effort through um, some outside professional staffing to help in locating uh, potential um, resources we can add to that program. Um, landlord partnership number two, absolutely. Let's enhance with $135,000. Uh, continue the great work uh, going forward on that. Number three, I agree we should delete voluntary rent guidelines. Um, I don't think we're going to get any argument either from landlords or tenants on that one. Wow. Uh, item four, mandatory mediation. Uh, I personally feel we should continue to at least pursue that as an option. We heard some parameters it could include, for example, if a uh, rent increases for uh, over 5%, it could automatically trigger uh, mandatory mediation to get both sides to the table. It could also uh, go beyond just an issue of rent and toward other issues. Um, just cause, I think we heard some good perspectives on that. Uh, tonight, one thing I will note on that, just so we're clear, is in most cases uh, where there is just a just cause ordinance, it's uh, accompanied by rent control. Um, the vast majority of jurisdictions do not have a standalone just cause ordinance for the simple reason that it. Um, the landlord can ultimately try to create a situation uh, to force a tenant out by jacking up the rent. So the issue of unintended consequences is something we're all mindful of in doing that. Here's what I would propose, though. Let's keep it on the list. Um, we have examples in other communities where it was either recently enacted or has been on the books for a while, is it working? Is it making a difference? Is it creating unintended consequences? How does it work with other existing protections? As we heard, there are strong state laws on the books now toward retaliatory eviction, but it sounds like um, many folks feel that those are hard to enforce. Um, what are the barriers to that, and, and how can we address that uh, locally as well? Um, on that note, and I get the feeling hearing from some of our tenants this evening, do they know their rights? Um, do they know that they can pursue legal options that exist? Do landlords know that they're violating the law? So one issue as well as a community is can we be doing a better job on um, education? Secondly, can we be doing a better job on enforcement, um, whether it be related to code violations um, as a county and, again, hopefully working with our uh, cities and towns as well, uh, and also enforcement on retaliation and the like. Um, again, I, I think... Uh, we heard a lot tonight on Just Cause. Let's move forward in looking at the case studies, okay. looking at how it fits in, and uh, perhaps even get more input on that issue. Second unit amnesty, um, I'm prepared to go with staff on that, that uh, given our additional uh, work on ADU and JDU, um, that may not be necessary. And finally, on... Um, Number seven, housing overlay designation. Absolutely feel that we need to revisit that issue. Um, the fact of the matter is, is that uh, designation has existed for a number of years now with no affordable units being uh, created at all under it. Um, so what do we need to do to improve it? Staff has come forward with a couple of recommendations. I'm not sure if those are necessarily the way to go, but again, let's keep this on the list and the housing uh, subcommittee can continue to look at that. So I would say continue work on uh, mandatory mediation, just cause, and a 
HOD. All right, I'm going to call 